Hey everybody, it's Renee. I wanted to do a quick video of some extras. These are some, this is a thank you um, pack that goes um, with the um, recent junk vintage uh, embellishment kit for junk journals that I sold in my Etsy shop. Um, it's not the mail kit, the last one I made, but the one before that. And I've been trying to keep up and mark them sold um, on my YouTube channel. Um, as they go, so this is the um, this is the the thank you. I'm sorry, my basset hound is going to start barking. <laughs> um, anyway, this is what goes in there, and I always try to make something um, for the person I've started, and it's kind of a neat way for me to practice on things. So here's the little journal, and I'll go through that last. Um, this is what the person gets, and I want to say thank you for purchasing it. Um, he or she will get um, some tags. These are coffee dyed tags. Okay, there's one there. And this is pattern paper that um, I scored. It was a used pads. I don't buy anything new. Here's a little um, beautiful woman, a vintage woman, back with some cardstock. Here's a couple of the envelopes that I coffee dyed, um, and I did show these in a video. These are so cute for secret notes, and I stamped one of them. I left um, these two blank. There's the one that I stamped, secret notes. And inside is a coffee dyed piece of paper for little notes to be written on. And then um, here are some that are naked, coffee dyed, um, ready for the buyer to use at his or her will. Okay, so there are those. This is really neat. I put this in some of my kits too. This is an old um, card dated 1975. And I've shown these before. Sorry, 1976. It's not going to come in. Um, in any event, these are really nice, I think, to make sort of like fold-outs um, or other tags or cards or journaling spots. Um, a writing space with some daisy, daisy flowers, just a journaling spot. An embellishment piece that's already nice and edged out, cut out. Um, some old book pages. Now, these are really small. Um, let's see here. Sorry, if you hear lots of rambling, um, it's horses kicking inside of a trailer. My dogs don't like that very much. Um, these pages are five and, let's see, yeah, five and a quarter. Yeah, five and a quarter by um, about three and three-fourths. And these are just small, um, naturally yellowed uh, dictionary pages. They're kind of like thesaurus's pages. So those, and those are cool for embellishment pieces. And then here's some images of roses. Um, here's an image of some people just sort of sitting. These make beautiful uh, journal embellishments and I've corner punched them out. Um, and then here's some contemporary paper um, that might make for nice journaling spots. I've got it in green and um, sort of a rust color there. I'm sorry guys, my dogs, they don't like the horses making noise um, and the horses kick. <laughs> so they'll stop when, they, when the horses leave. Um, so there's some more journaling. Um, I'm sorry, not journaling pages, but more old book pages. And again, these are a larger size and these are naturally yellowed as are these. So I didn't coffee dye them. More book pages. More book pages. This is some really cool shorthand pages. Remember those days. That was slightly before my time, but not that far away. Okay, so that's kind of neat. That's a book page. And then here's another um, book page that I just ripped out of a book. It's yellow. It's old. It's got a beautiful... A landscape setting on it, a little village setting. So she will get, or he, it's a she I think that bought it, will get all of these little extra pieces. And the other neat thing that I put in here um, is this stuff. 
So here's some extras. I've got some, let me just dump this out. Um, I've got some beads and buttons. So those are kind of neat. Oops. Some rhinestones and some gigantic beads. There's an old button. Um, look at that rhinestone, how big that is. I mean, it's got like a little twirly thing on the back. So that might be a cute embellishment piece. And this is an old earring, just an old piece of jewelry. Um, this is a flat back. Um, I forget what the name of this kind of stone is. Um, but it's just an embellishment piece. And then these I love. These are very old pearls. They're very heavy. And it's from a broken piece of jewelry. An old pearl necklace. And it was, you know, it started to space in between. And these are heavy. You can't really hear, obviously, or, yeah, you can't really tell. But they're very, very heavy. Um, but they're beautiful. And I thought those might make a cool, um, maybe for some of the dangles that people like to put. So there are those. And you can see how old and ragged the string is. Okay, and then there's some little embellishment pieces, coffee dyed, <clears throat> excuse me, coffee dyed pieces that she will get there, more of those. And these are just punches from coffee dyed paper from old book pages. There's some music pieces. Those are cute for embellishments too. I just sold some of these. One lady bought a whole stack of them. There they are. So I got to get those mailed out. And I just take a bunch of old book pages and just punch them out. And I sell them for fairly cheap on my Etsy shop. Um, and then there's that little embellishment. I try to make a um, spool freehand. But yeah, I am just so not an artist. I can crochet. I can sing. I can tell you anything about literature. Um, but yeah, I'm not gifted when it comes to crafting. So that's my version of a spool. <laughs> Um, and then here's the book quickly. I don't want this video to be long. Um, it's got our GT Designs stamp on there. GT Designs and Vintage Art Supplies at Etsy. So I sew that with cotton string. And there's a Tim Holtz Black Butterfly. I put that over the top because when I coffee dye, sometimes the paper, you know, it gets a little um, ragged on the edges. But it's kind of neat too. It's kind of pretty. But I just put a Tim Holtz butterfly on top of it. I kind of like those. There's a little tiny card. There's a little tag. Um, I don't have a tiny attacher. I say that every time. I'll probably always say it. Um, there it is. Here's some of my coffee dye paper that I've been selling a lot of lately. I just finished a big batch of it. Coffee dyed old book pages. Um, here's a little corn envelope. Cohen envelope. Sorry, that's my Texas drawl coming out. Cohen coin envelope all right um, and there's some coffee dyed ledger paper with a little house stamp I love these stamps when people buy my husband's um, little natural wood houses they're tiny little things like that big who knows what they do with them but they're international he's sold so many of those everywhere in the world um, I ordered this stamp set from a lady and so I stamp a thank you and I put all the different sizes of houses um, and this was just one of them. And the stamps are so, they're, they're good quality. Um, coffee dye ledger paper. There's a little piece of contemporary paper. I put two little tiny charms in here. Um, a little heart and a little key. That was kind of fun. Um, yeah. I had to take a crochet needle, though, to tie this little knot to pull it through. Because, yeah, I just don't do very good with itty-bitty teeny-weeny stuff like that. Um, there's another stamp there, some more coffee dye ledger paper, um, here is a piece of washi on the other side of the Cohen pocket envelope. I put a button in there, an old brass, um, tiny little safety pin, a puzzle piece. There's a piece of sequin behind the puzzle piece and a little itty bitty card, um, and there's one of the ties there at the top. I put a piece of lace here on this page and more paper some washi I put a piece of embellishment coffee dyed embellishment music paper in there in case she wants to decorate or I don't know make a pocket or something 
And then there's more of my coffee dyed paper that I sell. And whoops. And there's another um, playing card. Put some ribbon on top. That might make a bookmark or something. And then this, I left it as it is. I could have easily, um, as I watched some of the, the ladies who make junk journals, glue this down and use it to open as a flap like that. But I decided to leave it in there for the buyer to, to do what he or she wants, what she wants to do with it. And that's it. And there's my stamp. And this video is 10 minutes long. I wanted it to be like four um, because it takes so long to upload those videos. Um, and I have lots of... Etsy work to do today and papers to grade of course my life my life my life lots of reading to do too so anywho um, that's that so that's the thank you packet that the lady um, who bought my last um, junk journal embellishment kit vintage junk journal embellishment kit this is what she will get and this is all a thank you package. Um, so anyway, I hope everybody's having a marvelous weekend um, and um, enjoying the day. And hope you will. I hope you will enjoy the day. Um, okay, that's it for now. Bye. Adios. Sale pues.